So my name is Mike. I'm the general manager here at Grape Expectations. This is uh, your barrel of wine. Today we're going to be doing what's called racking. Basically, through fermentation, the grape skins break down and leave behind uh, sediment. So what we're doing today is we're going to be removing the sediment out of the barrel. We're going to use this racking wand. You'll notice there's a bolt on the end that offsets it off the bottom of the barrel. This is so we don't suck up the sediment. Um, we want to leave the sediment in the barrel and then we're going to rinse it all out. Um, so we're going to pump your wine from here into this stainless tank that sits in front of us. Um, it's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes to pump it out. Once we get it flowing, we'll get you guys a taste of your wine. This is kind of the first time you tasted it at, at pressing, obviously, but it's coming right off the skin. So three months later, you should see a nice change in the wine. Um, so once we flip the barrel upside down, we're going to wash it out with the barrel bidet. And then we're going to pump the wine right back into the barrel. Um, at that point, we've removed, removed a little bit of volume. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the top off wine that we collected at pressing, and we're going to top off the barrel because at this point, air is the enemy. So we're going to keep all of the air out of the barrel. So um, you're also going to see us put a tablespoon of potassium metabisulfite into your wine. Basically, what that does is it pre prevents it from oxidizing. And since we're aerating the wine through this step, um, we need to put that in there just so that the wine doesn't oxidize too much. So this is the only time we put it in throughout the whole process, and it's just enough to get us through this process. So um, with that being said, we're going to get going. Oh yeah, it smells like wine. <laughs> <laughs> that it is. So Dan's just going to do a little housekeeping. Uh, we're going to clean out the, uh, the bung hole. It's the number one place for bacteria to grow in a wine barrel. In the bung hole. Um, so we get a scrubbing. We're just going to clean off the barrel a little bit with some, a couple scrub brushes and some sulfite. We don't get an opportunity. They don't get into the wash pit very often. So this we take this opportunity to kind of clean them up and. So hold on. So, if you, so now we're going to flip it over. So if you haven't seen it, you probably don't want to get any closer than this because you might get splashed. But this is the sediment. This is what's left behind. It's called the lees. Call this the barrel bidet. It's like a sprinkler head, it spins, and it's gonna wash the barrel from the inside. I'm gonna let that run for five minutes or so so it runs clear. Okay. Now we're just going to reverse the process. We're going to put the wine right back into the barrel. Wow. Did you mind I just had a, I had a little taste of somebody's chilling from last year. This one, yes. Yeah, yeah. Those, uh, Jim and those guys. Yeah, Jim. Okay. Who wants to put the bung in the bung hole? Okay, let me pull that this way so we can come up on the other side. So you go ahead and put it on in there. Push it all the way down. That's it. Give yourselves a hand. Thanks for watching part three, the racking process here at Grape Expectations. We're excited. The next process is bottling and we actually get to try our own wine. It's very exciting. Um, make sure you watch our other videos. Check out our win the wine contest. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. And as always, leave comments below.